Welcome to Parent University. I'm Sue Han. This year, BCPS has launched a new campaign called Mind Over Matters with an emphasis on the fact that everyone matters. And a way to show that is through kindness. On this edition of Parent University, we are going to witness and hear all about kindness. For instance, we're right here at this beautiful garden at the Parkville Library that was donated by a community partner. Now that is kindness. So, let's get started. Here's five quick tips to boost your preschoolers' empathy. First, start talking feelings and start talking feelings a lot more. How do you feel today? Oh, your face looks so happy. How does daddy feel? Talk feelings. Second thing is read. Just keep reading books, but ones that are emotionally charged or even films like Dumbo or Charlotte's Web or Wednesday Surprise because they're known actually to activate our children's heart and empathy muscles. Playdates. They're wonderful. Don't structure them too much. Just prime your child to just learn. Now it's first your turn and then it's your friend's turn because empathy always starts with feeling about the other person. It's we and not me. Anytime you want to teach your child a new skill, show them. Here's how to be kind. Don't tell them. Kids, little ones in particular, always learn better by seeing and not hearing about it. And finally, ask that great question. How would you feel if that happened to you? What does your friend need in order to feel better? Simple ways. Just find intentional ways to help your child feel about others. Thank you, doctor, for reminding us the importance of modeling kindness to our children. Speaking of children, I recently sat down with some students to see what kindness means to them. We are here today creating a kindness garden with some of our helpers. Thanks for coming in this morning. Can you guys tell me what you think of when we think about kindness? Helping and being nice to others. Very good. How about you guys? Anything else? Go ahead, Hero. Um, me? When I came to America, I was in first grade, and I, I never, I don't know much English that time, and they, many people helped me. So when I was in, when I get older and could speak more English, I have helped other, uh, I help others so they could be, I could show kindness to them, and they could show kindness to other people. Very good. So you paid it forward. You were kind when someone was kind to you. That's very good. How about you, Andy? Do you have any examples? Um, yeah. There was this kid riding a bike down the hill, and then I didn't know who he was. He fell down, but then I still helped him, even though I didn't know who he was. And you didn't know who And that was good, because you could have just kept on walking and not even stop to check on him. Was he okay? Yeah, he was okay. And I bet he appreciated your kindness very much. How about you, Sophia? Do you have an example? This person who I didn't know, um, I was a little kid, and he was just walking, and then he just fell near the street, and then like a lot of people Okay, and you stopped to check on him and make sure he was okay. That was sweet. So a lot of people were kind that instance, weren't they? So tell me about how it makes you feel inside when you're kind to someone. I feel really good. You do? Kind of. I, and I feel I am happy that I could help other person. Very good. So I could show that many people could make kind to each other if you make kindness and they can make that they'll be kind back yes that's right it makes the world go round everyone we're so kind we all get along nicely how about you andy um i feel hopeful because i'm hoping that very good that's good and you feel all warm inside inside your heart right very good so give me some examples of how you are kind in school like if somebody fell and they needed help and stuff fell from their arms, you can help pick up stuff and help them get up. So if they drop their books, you can help them. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Who else has another example of in-school kindness? Or if somebody is stuck on that question, huh? you could help out give them a hint so that they could have the, in their mind, they could have an answer or some kind of key. I love that. So that they could answer the questions. So you can be kind in supporting their learning. Yes. Right. Very good. How about you, Andy? Um, if somebody's um, feeling alone, like partner work, um, you could be their partner and oh. then help them in your work. I love that, too. So they don't feel so lonely, right? Do you have one, Sophia, in school yeah. kindness? Like once I was stuck on a problem and my partner helped me when I was um, having trouble. And your partner helped you? Oh my gosh, and that made you feel so good inside? And I bet your partner felt good too about it. How about your teacher? Is there any way to show kindness to your teacher? Yes, there's one, there's a, I think you could show kindness to your teacher by if they're, if they're, if your teacher's birthday, you could give something to her that makes her nice. Very good. That you could show kindness. Very good. That's good. Anyone else? Do you have an idea, Andy? You can show kindness by respecting her and following her directions. Oh my gosh, that is a wonderful answer. Respecting your teacher shows kindness. Very good. I like that. Do you have one, Bella? If she's having a hard time with the class, I think um, like you should at least pay attention. Very good. It, you should be the example. Yeah. So you're showing kindness that way by being an example. Very good. Sophia, do you want to try? from you and your teacher is probably going to say Sophia I, I like how you're being so quiet when everyone else isn't right that's nice to get a compliment even a compliment is a, a way of being kind yeah, I think not only teacher you should show kindness to the substitute you have yes so that after you help substitute you could the substitute might tell teacher that you did a nice job helping me Yes, so you show kindness to someone who is new into your school and into your classroom. That's a very good example here. Oh, I appreciate that very much. Who else can we be kind to in our life? Your pets. Your pets, very good. They love us the most, don't they? Do you guys have pets? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have two. You have two? You have two pets? And or you can show it to your parents very good. in your house. And how is that? How can we show our parents kindness? by listening and cleaning up after ourselves. Oh my gosh, I like that one. When your mom hears that one, she's going to be right on it. How about you, Andy? Um, you could um, also um, watch to do your chores. To do your chores, yeah. that's a big, big help. Yes, excellent. Very good. I like it when, pe when my children listen to me and and do as I ask, and I don't have to ask more than once. So they're respecting me and they're being kind to me that way. I like that a lot. And, and so, go ahead, Hira, what were you going to say? I think you should not only with your kids or your parents, you should be nice to uh, your grandparents. To your grandparents, yes, definitely grandparents. They're the seniors in your family. And also your siblings. And your siblings. And what happens when someone's not being kind to you? How do you react? Me? Yes, how do you um, react if someone's not being kind? Before I will ignore and go away, I will tell them you should stop that so that you can show kindness to each other. But if they don't stop, I will go away and ignore them. Very good. So ignore them is a good tip. How about Andy? Do you have another tip? Yeah, um, I would tell them how I feel. Very good. So you would say, that's making me sad or happy or angry. And then otherwise, you could also go to an adult. Who would you go to at your school, Bella? Um, your principal, your teacher, or your guidance counselor. Very good. So there's lots of adults in your school that, that are there to help when we're having trouble with kindness. So I really appreciate you guys coming in today and helping to make our kindness garden.
thank you for joining us. Wow, great job, kids. You know who else shows many acts of kindness in our schools? Our volunteers. I'm giving back. I wanted to work with kids. I've seen growth in myself. It's a great experience. Being a volunteer means I'm giving back. So someone took time with me when I was younger, and I want to do the same. Well, being a volunteer means to me that you perform a task willingly without pay. Oh, I was ready to be a volunteer uh, from the time I knew I was going to retire. So I didn't have to be interested in being a volunteer. I knew that I have a lot of energy and I wanted to use it. It started out meaning having something to do, feeling useful, and it's become a, a larger part of my life. Working with the kids and watching them grow in the classroom over the course of a year, basically their learning ability and their maturity too, and just getting positive feedback from them that they appreciate your presence on being there. I know that I'm doing something good, and I'm getting as much out of it as the kids are. It's fun, and I can see results. The interaction with the children. As I work with them, uh, they seem to relax and want to learn. And when I can see that I have made a difference, no matter how small, it makes you smile. That makes it all worthwhile. Not only are you helping the school system, but you're helping the community, you're helping families. So it's more than just me sitting down with one child. I'm helping because I'm freeing up people to do other things that directly involve the education of children. It helps you uh, feel better about yourself, frankly, that you're contributing. It helps my self-worth a little bit, too, you want the truth. Volunteering has just given me a lot of joy. <laughs> you see that you're fulfilling a need with them and it just makes you feel good. You walk. I never leave the school feeling like, oh, that was a waste of time. You know, I always feel just kind of good. <laughs> Personally, I get satisfaction out of volunteering at BCPS. Even though I waited until I retired to do this, I wish that I had done it sooner. And I wish that other people would think about volunteering, not only for Baltimore County Public Schools, but volunteering, giving of yourself to others. It is, it is rewarding. It is satisfying. It is, it is what we all should be doing. Great job, Yahoo! Don't hesitate to sign up and volunteer and get that feel good feeling. Well, that does it for this edition of Parent University. If you have a topic of interest to share, please email us at parentu at bcps.org. And remember, as your child's first teacher, you can be engaged anytime, anywhere. Mm -hmm.